All right, so I've got a 500 micron low alarm. I like 250. That's the standard I teach people to pull it to, but I want to talk to you about the process once you trip the low alarm and you think you're done uh, uh, getting down as low as you need to go. And the number one mistake that technicians make, I see it time and time again. Watch what I do here. I'm going to come up to my gauges. This is what is wrong. This is what you should not do, but I see a lot of techs do. They'll run up here and they'll close off the left and right. Now I'm at 470 microns. Watch this. I close them off, my microns drop even lower. They just keep going though. After they shut left and right, they close off their vacuum. Well, we're at, we're at uh, 370 microns right now. And uh, they go ahead and they switch it to their high alarm. Well, there's my my thousand microns there. I'm gonna shut up the vacuum pump. The thousand being the threshold. If it goes above that, uh, we have a problem. Okay. So what's happening now is they should have set their phone on a 10 minute timer, put it on their hip. They're off over wearing wiring the condenser, maybe the air handler, a thermostat in the house. Um, and the goal here is 10 minute timer on your phone will remind you to go outside and see what these microns are. Okay. So, um, the alarm over here that I, I set it on the high alarm over here on the right set for a thousand will go off if I fail my test. So if I'm in there wiring up the air handler and I hear bing, it's like, dang it. Got to go find out what's leaking. Is it your tools? Is it your system? Do you need to vacuum more? Okay. So the main goal for this video was to identify not how to wait for the 10 minutes and, and use your alarms. The point of this video is the number one mistake that I see techs do. And that is they come up here to these 460s or these 480s, they close off the left and the right, they shut up their vacuum, and they start their 10 minute test. Guess what? You are not checking the vacuum on your system. The moment you close this off and this off, shut it off, What's reading right here is just in your gauges. You're not reading your system. The reality is your gauge is closer to your vacuum pump than this evaporator coil is 50 feet away in the house. The vacuum at that evaporator coil was nowhere near as deep of a vacuum to begin with, okay? And yeah, you saw the, the low microns here, you shut it off, that inside, that inside line set and evaporator is nowhere near as low as this number here. That's why I tell people to go to 250 to begin with. So don't shut off the left and right. I'm gonna open these up just to see what my coil is. And the moment I open these up, you can see it raising up. This is actually reading my line set and my evaporator. You can tell I was not down to the 500 inside, but more importantly, we want to check the inside, watch its microns to determine if there is non-condensables or a leak in the system, okay, uh, by not holding its microns down. So I'm looking at this and there's another little section right here, uh, right there. That number is microns per minute of leakage. I wait till I have about three minutes after I've shut things off. And I say, okay, I have three minutes out of 10, 10 minute test, seven minutes left. Let's see if this is going to pass its test. Seven minutes times 117. Oh man, I'm doing it off the top of my head. Um, 929, somewhere around there. That means you take that, whatever this times this equals, let's say 900, and you add it to this. Well, that's 1,800. Yeah, that means that you're going to be at 1,800 microns in 10 minutes. You failed your test. Great. Back, back up to the main point of this video. Do not shut off your left and right valves after you've gotten down to the microns and you want to test it, do your 10-minute test. Shut off your vacuum. 
If you're pulling on both lines, shut off both of them, but leave your left and right open. Can't stress how, how important this is. It seems like a duh, nobody would do it. I would say 80 to 90% of the people I've talked with actually were doing it. They've never really been checking their system. Thought I would share, guys. See ya.